Today we're going to be taking a look at the Pollock 4 foot pigtail wiring harness for 7 pole socket, part number PK11998. So here's everything that's going to come with our kit. We're going to have all our buck connectors as well as a ring terminal and our harness that's going to have a 4 foot lead on it. Now what's great about this harness is it can be used either as a replacement for your damaged or broken harness at the back of your vehicle, or in our case, we're gonna be using it in the bed of our truck for a fifth wheel adapter off of our factory harness. Now as far as the buck connectors go, since our connections are gonna be made underneath the vehicle, to keep it protected against any corrosion and moisture, I'm gonna be replacing these buck connectors with heat shrink buck connectors, and you can pick those up on our website using part number DW057450-10. And that'll be for a pack of 10. Now, to help us mount our plug in the bed of our truck, we're gonna be using the Pollock seven pole vehicle connector. To begin our installation, we're gonna need to find a suitable spot to put our seven way plug. We've marked a general area right here that we're gonna be mounting it. Now I'm gonna be using a two and a quarter inch hole saw to cut a nice round hole so I can mount my plug. You wanna be extra careful and not let your hole saw or your drill start jumping around and scratch your bed up. With our hole drilled, we're gonna take our harness and we're gonna take the loose end of the wires and we're gonna feed them down so they go down to our bumper. We're gonna feed them down as far as we can, making sure not to drop this down the hole. Now, before we connect this to the back of our plug, I'm gonna put a little bit of dielectric grease in there. That's gonna help seal everything up and keep the moisture and corrosion from building up inside of there. Now, if you don't have any, you can pick some up on our website using part number 11755. Just gonna put a little bit in my connector there. Then I can take my seven way plug, and I can plug it into the back of there. Making sure it locks in. Now I can go ahead and feed this back in there and I can get ready to mount this. Since I can't reach the back of my plug here, I'm gonna be using four self tapping screws to put this in place. Now if we come to the back of our vehicle underneath here, this is where our factory seven way is in our bumper. Now if we move up just a little bit more, we're gonna see here we have our factory seven way wires that are ready for the plug. We're gonna go ahead and cut these loose and get our wires ready to attach to our harness. Now that we have our wire harness down, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the ends of these heat shrink ends off the wire, and we go ahead and strip them back. Now with our wire stripped back, I'm gonna take our heat shrink buck connectors, I'm gonna connect one end to our, our strip wires. It's always a good idea to double check your crimp, make sure it's tight. Now we can do the same thing for the rest of our remaining wires. Now we can come to our harness that we installed and we can get it ready and strip back the ends here. Now not all of our wires are gonna match up by color, but we'll start with the ones that do. Our large white wire is gonna go into our other large white wire here, which is gonna be for our ground. So we're gonna take the free end, put it into our buck connector, and then we can crimp it down. Next we can focus on our blue wire which is also gonna go to our blue wire off our factory harness. Now our green wire here is gonna hook into our factory green and purple stripe wire right here, and that's gonna be for our right turn and brake signal. Now we can take our brown wire, and we're gonna match it up with the gray wire with the brown stripe. Now if we come to our red wire, our red wire coming off our harness is gonna to go to our factory yellow and brown striped wire here. Now my yellow wire off my pigtail is gonna be going to my factory white and green wire here. 
Finally, our black wire here is going to be going to our red wire with the green stripe coming off our vehicle. Now, as I mentioned before, these are heat shrink buck connectors, and I'm going to be using a heat gun to shrink them down. Now, I just want to mention if you are using an open heat source like a torch or a lighter, you just want to be extra careful not to char the connector or the wires. I just want to make sure that you shrink all your connectors down, make sure that you have good protection against any corrosion. Now with all of our connections made, all we need to do is tidy up our wires and then we can test our system. So we can come up to our plug, plug in our tester, and then with an extra set of hands we can have them run the lights while we check to make sure they're functioning right. Alright, now if we have them turn on our running lights, we can see those are working properly, as well as our left turn signal, right turn signal, brakes, and brakes and our turn signals. And we can even see if our trailer brakes are working as well. Looks like everything's working properly and we're ready to hit the road. That'll finish up our look at the four foot pigtail wiring harness for seven pole sockets, part number PK. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.